Hey guys, it's Trice here, formerly known as Mr. Dragon Triple Zero, back with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game in the most torquiest engine series. We're going to be building this inline four engine with the most torque as of this video. After producing four figures of torque with the inline three engine, there's no reason to stop there and call it a day. It may be surprising to see a small engine like that to produce a crap ton of torque. That tells you, size doesn't matter when engines have one thing on their mind. So right now, let's build this 4-banger to produce over 1,000 pounds feet of torque. So first things first, in the top left of your screen, you bring the year up to the year of 2020 to get the most potential out of this engine. And after choosing the inline 4 configuration, you can choose any block material that you can choose from. And for the bore and stroke for the family capacity, you square this off, max it out to 120 millimeters to get the engine size to 5,000. 429 cubic centimeters, which equals to around 5.4 liters, with dual overhead cam 5 valves made out of whatever head material that you can choose from. For the crankshaft, it's got to be made out of billet steel with lightweight titanium cow rods and regular forged pistons. And for the quality slider right here, you max this out to a plus 15 to get the most performance, reliability, and everything about this engine. For the compression, you set this to a fairly high 10.7 to 1 ratio. The cam profile stays at as is to a 40, and of course, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, of course, ball bearings because it's the best one out of all of them. For the intercooler, you jump this up to 1260 horsepower. The compressor, lower it down just a little bit to a 64 millimeters. The turbine, you considerably lower this down to 52.5 millimeters. The AR ratio backs out to a 1.40, and the max boost, same thing, at a 43.5 PSI. For the fuel system, of course, we're gonna be using a direct injection throttle per cylinder race and take running on ultimate fuel with the fuel mixer backed out to a 10.0 the ignition timing set to a 64 and the rpm would set just a little bit lower to a 5000 rpm for the headers of course short cast headers thanks to being turbocharged with a single exhaust with its exhaust diameter set to 171 millimeters which that equals to 6.75 inches and of course no cats no muffers bring that quality up and we do get the final power rating of 8 160.8 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, and the highlight of the video is the torque at 1,430.1 pounds-feet of torque at 2,700 RPM. And as we can see by the stress counter here, we got no valve flow, no knocking, no RPM stress, but we do get some considerable crank, cow rod, and piston stress for the torque. Despite these stress issues, it'll work just as fine in BMG Drive, but it'll do just as fine. All right, in just a sec, I'm gonna give you a hear of what this engine sounds like. While playing around with it, the manual testing mode, I'll cycle through all the graphs on here, starting from the power and torque, torque and boost, torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those graphs, I'll show you the engine that is currently ripped apart, except for the headers and turbocharger to watch these go red and doing some fake gear shifts, and I'm gonna be getting off on video right there. So right now, go back to the graph setting and give you a hear what this engine sounds like right now.
just like the last engine, doesn't sound that bad, but the turbocharger pretty much kills its vibe. So that'll do it with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game with this torque-heavy inline-4 engine. This engine may be bigger than your stereotypical European cars where they put these torque-focused diesel engines in them. This engine kind of suits what it is. It's got a ton of torque, a great amount of horsepower, and high octane. For its size, not so much. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to Beam and G Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.